A Course in Miracles, Volume 2, Workbook for Students, Part 2, Number 7. And that is all about what is the Holy Spirit. Lesson 281. I can be heard by nothing but my thoughts. Father, your son is perfect. When he thinks that he is hurt in any way, it is because he has forgotten who he is and that he is as you created him. Your thoughts can only bring me happiness. If ever I am sad or hurt or ill, I have forgotten what you think and put my little meaningless ideas in place of where your thoughts belong and where they are. I can be hurt but by nothing but my thoughts. The thoughts I think with you can only bless. The thoughts I think with you alone are true. I will not hurt myself today for I am far beyond all pain. My father placed me safe in heaven, watching over me, and I would not attack the son he loves, for what he loves is mine to love as well. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts. As the sentence shows, this is the footnote, the emphasis in this lesson is that I can be hurt by nothing but my thoughts, since God's thoughts can only bring me happiness. You know, in a very, very practical way, we look at life through the lens of what we see out there. And we sometimes project things onto others. And we we let our minds just go on a tangent about oh that person thinks this and this and this about me or this person said that about me and we get so embroiled in the fantasy and illusion of what we are thinking that we believe it to be true and those thoughts hurt us those thoughts hurt us and at the end of the day when you stop and you look at it and you go wow my emotional state is in such a mess and it's really scrambled and all over the place because 99.9% of my thoughts is a mere perception of what I think is happening and those thoughts hurt me. But you can let those go. So I encourage you today to look at this and look at where your thoughts are hurting you and then realize that you cannot be hurt by your thoughts anymore if you just give them up and replace them with the thoughts of the divine intelligence, of the knowledge and the knowing of what is true and your true nature. So I hope this helps you in some way. And until tomorrow, take care.